Hey, it's Dr. Fox, and I want to talk about the concept or term dark empath. And this is something that I think a lot of folks use this term to typically describe someone who is manipulative and they're pretty harmful to others, and they use an emotional connection in order to manipulate them. I think this is often something that is put into the context of individuals with narcissistic personality disorder or narcissistic traits. And I think it's important to recognize that dark empath certainly has a negative connotation. When I hear about it, obviously, uh, I think about this Star Wars Sith, you know, kind of creature who is manipulative, who is able to control the feelings of others, manipulate the feelings of others. And they use that to their own benefit. Now, an individual along the narcissistic spectrum is likely to use this type of skill to help themselves feel better. That's the pathological component of narcissism. And it's often a manipulation attempt so that they can control others for their own sense of selves, for their own sense of grandiosity, particularly if it's more of an overt type of narcissism as opposed to a covert. Covert narcissism is this very vulnerable type individual who often suffers so much that other people don't understand their plight and their negative experience. And I think in the context of that dark empath, that the individual, that vulnerable narcissist, then feels so bad that they're reading those emotions so they can manipulate others to then pull out the sense of sympathy, to pull out this sense of connection or pity almost so that they'll do for them what they don't want to do for themselves. And I think this dark empath that you can build these skills, you can build these recognition skills in others about how folks feel, about how they act, about how they feel about themselves, about how they see themselves. And this dark empath individual may use that to their own benefit, again, to Hence, they may use this skill in order to control or manipulate others. Now, remember that individuals along the narcissistic spectrum often use enlistment. And enlistment is a way of pulling people into their interpersonal circle who will tolerate those narcissistic beliefs, behaviors, and patterns. And what happens is being in that interpersonal circle, perhaps you are and you, you know what this is like, is that once you're in there, then they start to use your own emotions against you. They start to use your own behaviors against you. And it's almost like that Sith, that Star Wars Sith, right? The Darth Vader skills of making you feel bad about yourself, of feeling little, of feeling broken, of feeling uncertain. And they use it to their own advantage so that they feel better about themselves. Now recognize this is not a clinical term. That is a colloquial term. That means like it's like an everyday term or phrase. So there isn't a lot of research on it. There isn't a lot of information on it, but I've noticed that a lot of folks have asked about it. So I thought I would just address it and recognize that this again is like a skill set. And we want to be aware of individuals who do have malicious intent, who do use your emotions against you, who use your behaviors against you. And all of us make mistakes, simple mistakes, complex mistakes, whatever it may be but we're all should be allowed to have those mistakes. And when people don't allow just normal human error, I think then we have to question our connection with those people. Is it a good friendship fit? Is this somebody who's helping me move forward? And that's a decision that I think you have to make. And if you're not too sure, it's always good to consult a mental health provider who can help you kind of process not only where you are in different relationships or how those different relationships make you feel, but why you're in them as well. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.